Peppa Goes to Scotland. One day, Peppa, George, Mummy and Daddy Pig set off for Scotland in their camper van. It was a long journey and Peppa sang all the way. We're going to Scotland, we're going to Scotland in our camper van. Soon the sat nav started singing along as well. Oh. We're going to Scotland. <coughs> Until finally, <coughs> we have arrived in Scotland, announced the sat nav. Oh. Hooray! cheered Peppa and George. <coughs> Look, Daddy, <coughs> said Peppa, pointing at the top of a hill. There's a castle. Wow. Shall we go and see it? asked Daddy Pig. <laughs> yes, said Peppa and George. <laughs> they couldn't wait to explore. Yes, said Mummy Pig. She couldn't wait to get out of the camper van. <laughs> At the entrance to the castle, Peppa and her family met Mr. Stuck. Welcome to the best castle in Scotland, he said proudly. I, Mr. McStag, will show you around, but first you must wear these. Mr. McStag held up some kilts. Wow! I love my kilt, said Peppa. How's yours, Daddy? It's a little draughty, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> Mr. McStag showed them round the castle. He took them to the throne room and up a secret staircase. Oh. Ooh, called Peppa, listening for her echo. Ooh, her echo replied. Then Mr. McStag told them about a mysterious creature that was said to live in the loch nearby. But no one knows if it is real. Or a made-up story, he said. Monster! Roar! Yelled George. <laughs> Thank you for showing us the best castle in Scotland, said Peppa, as they waved goodbye to Mr. McStag. Monster now! <laughs> asked George. We'll look for the monster tomorrow, George, <laughs> said Mummy Pig. It's time for bed now. <laughs> Luckily, George was just as excited about sleeping in the camper van. <laughs> the next morning, Peppa and her family sailed out onto the loch with their guide, Miss Rabbit. Is the monster real? asked Peppa. No one's seen it in all my years working here, said Miss Rabbit. Look! gasped Daddy Pig. There's the monster. That's just a branch, Daddy, said Peppa. Oh, yes, said Daddy Pig, a little embarrassed. Peppa pointed to the other end of the log. But that looks like the monster, she said. OK, said Miss Rabbit. I'll take us over there. Hold on tight, everyone. Miss Rabbit zoomed the boat over to the other side of the loch. But when they got closer, Peppa realised she hadn't seen the monster, just some rocks poking out of the water. Oh, she sighed. Is that it over there? asked Mummy Pig, pointing back to the far side of the loch. Miss Rabbit turned the boat round and zoomed back the way they'd come. But when they got there, all they could see were a few plants in the water. <laughs> oh, said Mummy Pig. <sighs> Soon Miss Rabbit was zooming the boat round and round in circles all over the lock. <coughs> there it is! I'm sure of it! <coughs> no! There it is! <coughs> it's definitely over there! <coughs> I think we should head back now, said Miss Rabbit. We're all getting a bit dizzy. <coughs> Miss Rabbit started to turn the boat around. As she did so, George, who had been sitting quietly the whole time, suddenly spotted something behind them. <coughs> Monster! 
called George as loudly as he could. Monster! Roar! <coughs> but everyone was too tired to look round. We've stopped looking now, George, said Mammy Pig. I don't think there's a monster here after all. All the way back home, George had lots of fun talking to the monster who was following along behind them. No one else noticed a thing. Roar! said George. Roar, roar, roar! <coughs> when Miss Rabbit docked the boat, everyone stepped out onto the jetty. George waved goodbye to the monster. <coughs> Who are you waving at, George? asked Mummy Pig. Monster friend! Monster friend! said George, jumping up and down. <coughs> Everyone looked over and saw the monster. Shiver me timbers! gasped Miss Rabbit. I didn't think it existed! <coughs> wow! gasped Peppa, Daddy and Mammy Pig. <coughs> Just then, the monster dived down into the water and made a huge splash. Everybody got soaked. <laughs> Everyone was very wet, but they were all very happy. Not only had they seen the monster, it had also made them lots of <coughs> muddy puddles, <coughs> cheered Peppa, jumping up and down. <laughs> Peppa and George love Scotland. Scottish muddy puddles are the best. The end. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Best Sleepover Peppa and Mandy Mouse are having a sleepover at Peppa's house. We're going to put on a show with our teddies, build a magical den and have a giant feast says Peppa. Yes, cheers Mandy. It's going to be the best sleepover ever, finishes Peppa. Can we have some craft things to make a stage, please? asks Peppa. <coughs> of course, says Mummy Pig. She brings Peppa and Mandy everything they need, then helps them to make a stage. <coughs> Peppa and Mandy put on a show with their teddies. Bravo! Cheers, Daddy Pig. After the show, Peppa and Mandy start building their magical den. Mummy, Daddy, can you help us, please? Says Peppa. What's the matter, Peppa? Asked Daddy Pig. <laughs> I can't get my sleeping bag out, says Peppa. And the fairy lights are all tangled up, Mandy adds. With a little help from Daddy Pig, Peppa and Mandy finish their den. They have lots of fun being princesses in the den until... My tummy is rumbling, says Peppa. Mine too, says Mandy. Time for our feast, says Peppa. Yippee! Cheers, Mandy. Hmm. Peppa and Mandy head to the kitchen. Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and George are already busy baking. <coughs> Would you like to join us, Princess Mandy and Princess Peppa? Says Daddy Pig. We're making a giant feast. Hmm. Oh yes, please, cheer Peppa and Mandy. <coughs> Peppa and Mandy go back to the den and tuck into their feast. <coughs> Yummy, says Peppa. <coughs> Delicious says Mandy. <laughs> After the feast, Mummy Pig helps Peppa, Mandy and George brush their teeth. <laughs> Daddy Pig reads Peppa, Mandy and George a special sleepover bedtime story. <gasps> I wonder what you will dream about tonight, he says, closing the book. <laughs> Peppa says, I think we're going to dream about the best sleepover ever, finishes Mandy. Everyone laughs. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig tuck Peppa into her sleeping bag. Thank you, she whispers. <sighs> You're welcome, Peppa, say Mummy and Daddy Pig together. 
but Peppa and Mandy have already fallen asleep. Peppa loves sleepovers. Everyone loves sleepovers. The end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more.